हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अजय माय यूएसएन एन इज टू एस टी ट्वेंटी ई जीरो जीरो फाइव माय टॉपिक इज टू राइट एन आर्म एलपी फॉर कॉल्टेक्स एम थ्री डिपिक्टिंग यूसेज ऑफ एलडीएम और एसटीएम इंस्ट्रक्शंस द गिवन कोड इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ आर्म असेंबली लैंग्वेज कोड लेट्स गो थ्रू द कोड एंड एक्सप्लेन इट्स आउटपुट Firstly the code starts with a label called entry which is a common convention in assembly language to mark the beginning of the program Next the, this section initializes the stack pointer sp by loading the value 0x2000000000 into register r0 using the ldr instruction then the value of r0 is moved to sp using the mov instruction The stack pointer is an essential register that points to the top of the stack used for managing function calls and local variables. Here three registers R1, R2 and R3 are loaded with immediate values. Each LDR instruction loads a specific value into the corresponding register. Next, this line stores the values of registers R1 R2 and R3 into memory pointed by the stack pointer SP the STMIA instruction stands for store multiple increment after and SP exclamation mark indicates that the stack pointer is incremented after the st store operation these instructions set registers R1 R2 and R3 to 0 The MOV instruction is used to move an immediate value into a register. This line loads the values previously stored in memory back into registers R1, R2 and R3. The LDMIA instruction stands for load multiple increment after and SP exclamation mark indicates that the stack pointer is incremented after the load operation. The codes ends with an infinite loop the b dot instruction branches to the current location creating an endless loop the end label marks the end of the code now let us explain about the output the given code snippet does not produce any visible output it initializes some registers stores their values in memory clears the registers and then loads the stored values back into the registers however since there are no instructions to print or display the register values or any other output the code will execute silently without producing any observable output thank you everyone